it's true. Every time I see you, I, I have the urge to curtsy. Oh, it's always nice. <laughs> uh, happy birthday. Oh, thank you very much. Hey, congratulations on your Emmy. Oh, thank you. That was amazing. We got the drama for the crown. For you. Oh, thanks. I was happy for me. It was yeah. great. <laughs> so we heard though, so it's a big night of celebration. You're in Hollywood, you've got the Emmy, but we heard you couldn't get into the governor's ball, which is the party immediately following the ceremony. No. What it, happened? Oh, um uh they wouldn't let me in. But you had the <laughs> Emmy. You had you, the Emmy. Yeah. You are oh, me. God, was that happening? Yes. As it was happening. Yeah, no. no um yeah. uh no, it was me and two of my friends, and we had two tickets, and not three. Um, and I said, oh, I mean, obviously, I can go in. They were like, no. <laughs> and so, I, and I said, you know, I'm not going, we're all going in, or we're not going in at all. Um, right, right. A stupid thing to say. And then, um, <laughs> and, then they, and they said, well, then you can't come in. And so then we just sort of stood at the bottom of the stairs. Right. And then uh, Jonathan Van Ness said, what are you doing here? From Queer Eye. Yeah. And I got him to do a, um, a video for my sister when she woke up in the morning, which... Does she love Jonathan Van Ness? She wants to be Jonathan Van Ness. Yeah, we, we all do, by the I way. Mean, we I, all do. I really do. He's incredible. He's inspirational. He really is. And he fixed it. He, he spoke to them and said, this cannot happen. Uh, and uh, they said, you can come in. Wait, Jonathan Van Ness, like, Jedi mind tricked them with his yeah. fabulousness? Yeah. He was like, you will let them in? Yeah, that's all it took when they went, you can come in. Yeah, yeah. I it love that you, your sister was excited to get a video from You just won the Emmy, but she was oh, she excited about, about the video yeah, from right. him. No, it made her life. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Now, are people in the UK as obsessed with the crown as we are? Because we in America, I believe, have royal envy. So we <laughs> truly, like, we show up for the weddings, even though they're at 4 a.m. Like, we show up live. We get dressed, we put on our clothes, and we watch TV. Yeah. We love the crown. Do the Brits love the crown the way we do? Or do you live the crown, so who cares? Uh, it's not like who cares, but it's just not in the same way. It's not so enthusiastic. Really? Yeah. So are we're we just a little over the top in, in terms of our enthusiasm? No, no, no. no. It's acceptable. We're just quite, you know, reserved. We pretend but, we don't care. But on the inside, you do care. On the inside, we care a lot, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So we're not crazy. You're not no, crazy. I know. You just let it out. It's much healthier. Yeah. Well, we're so excited she's here. We'll be right back. <laughs> with her discovered that Claire doesn't like to watch herself, <laughs> and you really should. You're very You're good. You're very talented. <laughs> very good. You're a very good actress. Man. This is, uh, this is incredible to look back at the quest for Neil Armstrong to get to the moon, mm -hmm. but how it impacted the family, which was yeah. so interesting to see. Yeah, that's what Damien wanted to do, I think. I think because... Uh, you know, it's a story that everybody knows, and it's about how, where is the drama in that? Where's what is that? What is the story to be told? And I think that when Dame, you know, um, James Hansen's book, First Man, um, just sort of kind of shows a tiny glimpse of the, the sacrifice and the lives of what people gave up for this kind of amazing achievement. Mm. And you play you play Neil's wife. I play Janet. Yeah. Wow. Janet Armstrong. And and so I mean, it's such a huge responsibility mm -hmm. to to. Uh, to um, play a, a, a historical person. Mm -hmm. So what did you learn? Did you did you learn anything that you were surprised to, to know about the, the well, process I mean, of having to stay on the ground? Well, Ryan had the harder job because he was playing right. the icon, the legend that is Gosling. Neil Armstrong. God's right. right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that guy. <laughs> I mean, Janet, nobody really knew anything about Janet at the time. There was a kind of projected image of this sort of ideal kind of uh, wife. Um, but then I just, I was amazed, I just, it was an honour to get to know her, really. And the Armstrong family kind of allowed us into their lives, which has really been an amazing thing. And uh, the, I call them boys, but they're men. This is the right. son. Right. Mark, yeah, I keep son, calling them boys, sure. it's really yeah. embarrassing because they're yeah. really grown men. They have children and, like, grandchildren. Right, right. Um, <laughs> and uh, they, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, they've just been so gracious and so lovely to us all the way through. Um, it's been an amazing experience. It's, it's amazing to watch this story yes. from this point of view. Go see First Man in theaters and I'm at, next Friday.
just thinking back to last Halloween, yeah. they were our Wonder Women last Halloween. Right. Look at that there. Look at how gorgeous <laughs> they are. But you know them as HDTV's Property Brothers. Please welcome Drew and Jonathan Scott. I was going to push them all the way through, then I realized the front wheels are solid, they don't move. I'm like, oh, Jonathan's yeah. getting the butt shot when he comes yeah. in. It's the best shot that I it have. It is. Yeah. It's a great shot. It was magic. I've had work on that shot. Hey. Yeah. So, uh, so uh, we were just talking about Halloween. I, that photo is still priceless. It's a great Woo! shot. Uh, okay. I mean, how about those legs? Let me point something out. So after we did the show, we had to fly. We were filming in Toronto at the time. We flew wearing those outfits all the way back to Toronto. Of course. The looks at TSA. Yeah. You wouldn't Se believe Security it. gave us a few side yeah. glances. You're kidding. Oh, yeah. I would think you would be setting yeah, off alarms all over oh, yeah. the place. Well, actually, uh, the previous Halloween, I actually went as Magic Michael Myers. Oh, and that's so, so smart. Yeah, and yeah. I went through security and I had that mask on. Was it smart, it, though? Yeah, they didn't yeah. like that. Security. Yeah. I like it. I Maybe mean, don't travel on Halloween. Yeah. Uh, There's yeah. that, too. There's yeah, you guys yeah. are always traveling uh, every two days we're on a plane somewhere but I mean it's a part of what we do and we enjoy coming around and seeing you guys in different cities when you saw him last Drew was ready for his wedding that's right congratulations you're married we saw photos oh, you There's are Bruce. married I am officially married yeah we got married in Italy in Italy, uh, in Puglia, the southeast, it's sort of like Puglia. the heel of the boot. And oh. it was, yeah, it was a lot of fun. <laughs> Look at Puglia. those legs. Yeah, yeah apparently we wear dresses a lot. Yeah, well, know, yeah we're, what was the significance behind the kilt? So I'm Scottish. What My last name see? is Scott. Oh. <laughs> So what happened to the ish yeah. I know. I said, oh, come on, Dad. Uh, but yeah, we had, I had ten groomsmen. They were all in kilts, and uh, it was it was a blast. And then Linda, she's Chinese, and so one of her, we had a couple of outfits each. So she had some traditional Chinese uh, wardrobe for her and, and the girls, the bride. It me. was the most yeah. elaborate but fantastic wedding I have yeah. ever been to. Made it three seconds into my speech before I was a blubbering idiot. Yeah. So. Oh no! Kidding. What happens when you know? Yeah. Womb to tomb, bro. He made, he made everyone cry you. with his speech. Yeah. yeah. Listen, yeah. we tall guys cry, okay? We yeah, cry. we do. <laughs> now, do you yeah. feel lonely now? Do you feel like, do you feel all alone? Lonely. Way to rub it in. I mean, I'm I mean, just thinking. Jonathan, do you feel sad and pathetic? Yes, Jonathan, yeah. I'd like to put out there, I'm still a loser. <laughs> <laughs> available. Are you still available? No, you know, I've been getting uh, uh, more uh, sweats uh, lately. What? She asked oh. a very, yeah, very, yeah, very important question. question. Yeah. Okay. Are you still available? I am, yes. The I'm audience single, wants yeah. to know. Uh, bring out the roses because we're about to have a ceremony. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I like that there's one dude. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You got you have so many different shows on HDTV, and they do these great yeah. reveals. What's right. been one of the the strangest or weirdest reactions to one of these reveals? Well, we, I mean, we always get the, the the tears of joy and all this, but there there was one homeowner last season who came out and they look and they love it and they walk in and then they started to go like, oh like they, my they God. passed out. It was oh overwhelming gosh. for them. Yeah. So Jonathan did the whole like, oh, here, we'll just sit <laughs> you on the couch. The weird is not usually the homeowners. It's usually like when we did the renovation on his house in Los Angeles, it's when people will walk up and they've seen inside your bedroom and they'll make comments that you're like, wait, was that from the show or have you been in my <laughs> bedroom? <laughs> oh, it's window. really like, oh, wow, that master closet looks great and perfect vantage point to the bed. I'm like, what does what, that even what, mean? What, yeah, what, what, is that? what do you mean with that? Yeah. So well, it gets a little creepy. Yeah, it means people are into creepy stuff. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. there's a lot of freaks out there. Yeah. A lot of freaks. And they're all yours. I like how yeah. they're applauding freaks. Yeah, so yeah. Yeah. When we come back, we'll talk to Jonathan and Drew about their very first business. They started when they were seven. Book. We, we did. This is yeah. so great. You know, it's so funny that so many kids watch Property Brothers. And you, I think when I was five years old, I was like playing in the mud. Kids today are way smarter than they were back then. We would have thought right, they right. watched real estate and design programming, but they do. So we did this for our kid fans out there, Builder Brothers, Big Plans. So cool. These are stories from when we were kids. And this one is all about us trying to build a doghouse. And the adults are all laughing at us, saying, you, know, you can't do this. We did it, built it too small. Sort of a, a learning lesson. We worked with a child psychologist as well to make uh -huh. sure that there's great messaging in the book. And it's
it's about working together and failure is not a bad thing because failure is a part of working towards success. Did you always work well together even as little boys? We, so 